And well, for the very latest on this, we're now being joined by Stuart Smith from London. And Stuart, quite a damning report there by the Parliamentary Committee looking into this. Tell us a little bit more about its impact and whether it will actually eventually impact what the government decides on this. Well, the significance of this report is it comes from across the political parties in Parliament. So the Conservative government is the one pushing this through, but there will be Conservative members of Commons and Conservative members of the House of Lords as part of this cross-party group, which has come to the conclusion published under that party name that the bill is fundamentally incompatible with human rights law and also risks untold damage to the reputation of the United Kingdom internationally when it comes to human rights. This comes on the same day that the upper house in the United Kingdom, the House of Lords, starts its major scrutiny of the bill, which is expected, and the Prime Minister knows this too, is expected will face severe uh, attempts at creating amendments to this bill. It will be heavily scrutinised by the upper house, which tends to be less led along party lines, meaning there could be quite the debate going forward about whether this bill should pass unamended. This process is something Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, is concerned about. He's asked the House of Lords not to try to block the bill, but it's almost certain there will be amendments as they scrutinise this legislation. Remember, the Supreme Court said this whole plan of sending asylum seekers to Rwanda to be processed and where they would stay for asylum purposes is illegal because it's an unsafe destination. The UK government is trying to redefine what safe means through Parliament in order that there cannot be legal challenges which have so far for the last two years prevented these asylum flights taking off. That's what's at stake. How far the Lords will go in their changes or attempts uh, to change the legislation we don't yet know. We'll get a better picture of that over the course of the day and the week as they look into that legislation but the fact that this Parliament Joint Committee on Human Rights has produced this very damning report and will give ammunition to any Lords in in the upper house who right. say that this policy should not go forward, that right. the government needs to amend it and that it is ultimately an illegal bill. Mm -hmm. Right, Stuart, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there on that damning report making its way to Parliament uh, uh, on what is it, what's called the Rwanda plan of the government. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.